This is KRX and we are back with the Crooked Man. This is part 14 and we are finally going to check the, you know, the thing with the code. I mean the three digit code. Yeah, that thing. Up here. Yes, and I'm bringing a little child with me. Ready? Ready? A large wire holds the door handles tight. Not even pliers could cut this. Not that I have any of those. Hmm, what can I do about this? <laughs> drink the energy drink. Turn into Popeye. <laughs> um. Yay! Fluffy walks so weirdly. What? There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat which cut a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a little crooked house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like that song. No, you won't like the song anymore. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and all he's gotten around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister, but sorry for singing a sad song. Er, uh, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing too, David? Haha, <laughs> no, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. That's weird, some weird dialogue we got down here. What? Small shelves, there's something here. <sighs> I walked around like 20 minutes, I'm not joking, 20 minutes. This is what happens when you don't check everything. That took me like, okay, that didn't take me that long, but I mean, not as long as 20 minutes, but <laughs> okay. Maybe this small key will work. Try it. <coughs> Unlock the cabinet. Got the key to the medicine room. Perfect. Okay, um, where's the medicine room? Downstairs, right? This it? Yeah. This better take me somewhere. There's a diary. That newbie Steve made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him that stuff could eat through iron. He better pay me back for this. Hydrogen bromide, it can melt iron, huh? Maybe it worked on the door to the rooftop. Let's go find some high degen. Aconite. Okay, well then. Here we go, hydrogen bromide. Have to be careful with this. We found the Heidi. Got a bottle of HBR. HBR is an acid. Just FYI. In case you didn't, you know, like study chemistry or anything. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Stop walking so weirdly, Fluffy. Who walks with it, like, flapping? I bet I could get rid of this wire with hydrogen bromide. 
Oh, okay. You want me to? Maybe I can melt the wire with this. Fluffy, stand back. This could be dangerous. Okay. Hey, it's working. This is kind of fun. Reminds me of a science experiment. Whoosh. Melted the wire. The door can now be opened. Yay! We're outside. Ooh, I want. I've always done that. Like, a, uh, if I see an open space, I would run. <sighs> Don't run around. You'll fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for that thing she lost. I hope she comes find me soon. She'll be here soon. I'm sure. You sure love your Mama, huh, Fluffy? Yeah, Mama's the best. Do you like your Mama, Mr. David? Yeah, I've got to love my mama. I mean, my mother. Family is important. My mama's nice, but she's scary when she's mad. Is your mama nice? My mama's going insane. I'm home. Are you feeling better, mom? Did you go to the hospital? Aw. Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't blow it out of proportion. I feel a lot better after getting some rest. There's really no good side to being feeble. I'm sorry to always be causing you trouble. Aww. Don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we have to help each other. Oh, you're so kind. Say, how is it going with that Shirley? She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't met much because of work, though I'd like to talk with her more about the future and all. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Make sure to support her, will you? Are you sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. I'm glad to have such a kind son. Thank you, Davy. Oh, so sad. Yes, she's very kind. She's always cared about me. <laughs> you better get home soon then, Mr. David. Your mama must really be worried. I suppose you're right. Same reason why yours will show up soon. So just wait with me until then. Yeah! I should save. An old newspaper. Psychiatrist at local hospital commits suicide. Early this morning, a doctor employed at the general hospital was found dead by a nurse from the same hospital. He was hanged, so the police are deeming it a suicide. You mean the same doctor that treated patient A? Because patient A was like telling the doctor, hey, to run or something. There's a ladder. Seems you can climb up. <coughs> uh, yeah, I would like to climb up. Got an M piece. Cool. Now we shall go back to... I can't go back. Should I check that box? I cannot check the box. Um, where do I go? Oh, here, right here. Here? Here? Okay. <sighs> Game graphics, man. What is that? What is that? What is that? That's really creepy. Oh my! <gasps> what is he doing? so dizzy. Oh man. Can I... Do I 
want to. Can I? I'm gonna do the word thing first. Let's see. I have the pieces. Y A L F I N M. Can I make a word out of that? Oh, wait, damn it. Oh. Family. Lock the box. Got a safe key. This to this. I don't care about the safe. Come on, man. Okay, let's go save Fluffy. Oh, there you go, Fluffy. <laughs> something about that thing. Do what? Um, do what? Set fire to the rain? Oh. Apparently not that. Oh, I didn't save. Oh. Why did I not save? Ugh. Mr. David! And I did. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. Oh, you mean like with the mom? If we had noticed a little sooner. Mr. David? Did I pass out? Yeah, head still hurts, stupid monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. I'll be fine too. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went that way. I mean, went away. Sorry. Fluffy? I, I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so... I I told Mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me, so I'll, I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's going to come for me, so I have to wait here. He really should be with the police, but he just won't listen, and if I try to force him, he'll just run. I'll give it a little more time, then I'll force him to go if I have to. I do wonder what his mom's doing though, leaving her son behind like this, I can't believe some people. And what's the monster up to? He was chasing me before, but now he's just after, after Fluffy? I don't think I can possibly know, I just need to protect him from being attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. You're a good kid Fluffy, putting up with all this. You're really great. I bet your mama's really glad. Glad. <laughs> Hold out a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. No more monsters? I can't say, but I'll protect you if there are. So don't wander away from me, okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, mister. And that's it for
for this video of the crooked man this is part 14 and it will continue until it ends <laughs> okay so if you like this video leave a like and subscribe leave a comment on what games you guys think i should play next thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video this is Kirax, signing off